And we've certainly got um, 12 wonderful couples in the Cha 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 belt. We know that the champion is defending the title, but here we start off with a couple from Germany who last year made the semi final in the Rumba only, so they one dance ahead so far, starting with the Cha Cha Cha. Yes, we have Martin Dealman and Lydia Weiser. Last year it was quite a new partnership, but obviously they've been working for a full year now and they are very slick, well together and very rhythmical with their foot action to the beats of the cha-cha-cha. Very colourful dress belt. Yes, it's very attractive. Tremendously shows her strong leg action, particularly on the basic cha cha chas, which they do with very great precision. And here we have Richard Porter and Els Gavert. Very rhythmical as well. Yes, last year they made the final in, in two dances. Uh, their fortunes seem to have been a little mixed during the last 12 months, however. But dancing well tonight. Yes, they appear to have got their act together, and uh, she is lead, she is following him, and he is leading extremely well. Very good partnership. Well, unfortunate incident that uh, took place, of course, this year after the, the their first round. Uh, Hans Galko, Bianca Schreiber, who won fourth place last year, had to withdraw. Do we do we know any more details about that? Apparently, she had um, a chest infection, and with the atmosphere and the heat, um, she found she couldn't breathe properly, so they had to withdraw. It was a great pity. Nice slow motion activity here of, uh, of the German pair and uh, emphasising what you were saying about the slickness of, uh, of leg use and the placing of the foot on the beat. So no change in the samba, we have 12 couples once more. So this couple will be pleased, Pat, because uh, they were not in the semi-final last year and they've been in the semi-final in two dances already this year. Yes, they're working very hard over the last year and their efforts are showing now. Very slick, rhythmical, but still have a nice soft action. I think this is one of the best dresses that I've seen. It's very flowing, but it suits the shape that she is, which is shows her leg action through the fringing. Very nice. Well, as we can see already, Pat, there's, there's quite a number of different dress styles, all of them attractive and possibly a little bit more thought into individual suitability of the dresses. Yes, certainly. I mean, I think all the girls do make an effort to produce a dress which suits their bodies. Now, here we have again another type of dress from Oksana. Paul Killick and Oksana Forover from England. And this dress again suits her terrifically. It is well covered. We don't like to see a high crutch line, and this is very good. There's some tasteful dresses. They were in all five dars from the semi final last year, possibly hoping to break into the final this year. Her hair seems to be woven into, almost into the back of the dress to, to hold it down. So you're still looking attractive, but almost... I'm never too sure whether it's their real hair or not, but it looks very effective. <laughs> There's more hair than I've got. <laughs> Quite a bit more hair than I've got. delighted to have, uh, have made this progress. Amateur champions of last year, semi-finals this year. But here we have a couple I like uh, very much, Pat. Yes, I do as well. Rick Venezuela and Hannah Carturan from United States of America. They're 
shoes from their toes right through to their fingertips. Beautiful actions. Again, we have a lot of split partnerships from countries, and this young lady is from Finland. But it doesn't really matter which countries they come from, they, they work together. And the international to dance family, isn't it? Yes. The common language, dancing. Now, these will be delighted. We talked a lot about these on the Rising Stars video, Pat, but here's another opportunity to see them see them dancing wonderfully well in this rumba. They're obviously overjoyed still, still on a high from their magnificent success on Friday of the festival. Yes, um, Paul and Karen from Australia must be still on a very big high from winning that competition because it was such a strong competition. And here we see such strong basic action from them both. Pasadona, unfortunately, uh, Paul and Karen have not been included in this dance. Still, one dance, and who knows, they may be back again for the jive. So here we have Alan Tonsberg and Rebecca Toff from Denmark. Very, they can characterise this dance absolutely fantastic. The caping action, the shapes, the strength from the man. The thing I'm most impressed is that she works so well for herself. He leads, but she gets herself going and moves, which is fantastic. Well, I have to confess they're one of my favourite couples, Pat, although I don't think they're dancing quite as well tonight as they did at the United Kingdom Championships back in January, when they were just unbelievably good. Tonight they're very good. Maybe the others are just looking that bit better. But they're superb dancers, champions of the future probably. Strong body line there. Alan and Rebecca were in five dances in the semi-final last year. Here's a couple that weren't in the competition last year, Pat. It's a new partnership, Brian Watson and Karen Hardy. But we know Brian Watson from being an amateur winner, of course. And, and his partner was dancing with Mark Lunn in the amateur section. She made the transition to the professional section very quickly. And the American couple are out. Oh, that's a shame. Wonderful to see all the couples in this fabulous ballroom. The rhythm that they're all portraying. Yes, this really gives the scene, doesn't it? The overall shot of the ballroom, all the couples, and shot of the defending champion, Sammy and Barbara. Because they've chosen this evening to be bang right in the middle of everybody. Yes, they've done this throughout the event. He changes his tactics, so he's chosen to be in the middle this year as opposed Brilliant to... Brilliant tactician. Brilliant tactician. Beach end. Moran and Nicola look a little bit tired just at the moment, although I don't it's know five why. Or six <laughs> I would be exhausted that time. Sammy and Barbara again, giving all they've got. They still can't get used to him being in the middle, though. <laughs> it is different. It's unusual for Sam. It's usually out there at the ends. Gearbacker. We haven't seen much of him. He was in the semi-final five dances last year. Here again, semi-final five dances. 
very different dress. Yes, Melissa has chosen to have a tight cap. You like it or you don't. In the cha-cha-cha, we have an eight couple. Eight couples, that's yes. sure, yes. the closest of the mafias. Yes. Yes. Must have been it's a so difficult, difficult for the judges with eight. The judges are having heart attacks. Down Shows here. the difficulty in closest to the semi final, Pat, when you were selecting your final six. Right, here we go. Yes, it was very, very difficult. Judge, the, judge, all the couples were tremendous. Nine, it was a job to choose the right 36. six. Fifty-six, seventy-seven, one, two, eight, one, five, oh, and one, seven, eight. So when there's eight, it certainly gives the mm. extra two couples a lift if they've not made this final before. Doesn't it? So Paul Killick is in. Oh, that's wonderful. First time in the professional final for him. It's Jason standing proud, ready to we start. We have eight couples, the cha-cha-cha, thank you. And Viveka, they didn't make the final any dance last year, so they'll be, uh, they'll be over the moon. At least one final dance, maybe hoping for more. Aggressive is not a word I, I associate with, uh, with competition dancing to any great extent. It's impossible, possibly. Girls are gorgeous. Where could you find a better collection of really attractive, fit sports people? There's not many places you can because it needs such a tremendous amount of training to give the quality that they're giving now at this late stage of the evening. This is moved towards two o'clock in the morning. Sammy and Barbara still in the middle. That's right. I mean, I know Sammy and Barbara have been doing their training very late at night, 12 o'clock midnight till 2 in the morning, so that they get used to this time of the day. Yeah, this is the body clock idea, isn't it? Yes. And it's certainly paying off. in the same, that's a shame. Some but we have our there. normal six couple final now. Of course this is a vast ballroom and they'll be now going round and round the ballroom rather than the more on the spot cha cha cha. Here we have Hawkins Shirley Ballas on a very big high. Finding a beautiful space in the room to project their work. I'll tell you a story about them, Pat. I was uh, around the back of the stage near the dressing rooms right at the start of the evening and Shirley was sitting there alone. She said hi and we said hello and, and uh, she, she, she struck me as being so focused it wasn't true. And she said, I'll tell you this, Brian, I'm not going home without this trophy tonight. And my goodness me, she, she's danced like it every round. I don't know whether she was psyching herself up or trying to convince me or the world, but she's, she's certainly focused. Yes, the preparation has been absolutely tremendous. Every 
tiny section that they could possibly do to achieve this title they've done. I do like his hair, it's much calmer. I've got to admire this guy. I mean, he's worked like nobody has ever worked. His philosophy was if they practice six hours a day, I'll practice ten. Now, here's a couple who, this seems to be their venue, Pat. It seems to be the place in the world where they perform better than any, anywhere else. They seem to just get something from this ballroom that no one else gives them. Yes. Fortunately for them, this always happens. I know they've been working very hard, but this extra vitality or charisma that they achieve always happens at Blackpool. They're very fortunate. Former rising stars with us and dancing, dancing tremendously. I'm not a fan of it. the ponytails for men, but, but he, he carries it off. He's got that handsome almost pirate type look. No change for the rumba. And here we see them in their rumba. Oh good, because it's one of their best dancers. So much sleeker and slicker. Slim. But last year they didn't, didn't make the final in December. They were in the final of four dances. Sixth in the three dances and fifth in the jive, so they're they're one ahead already this year. So maybe we're going to see them uh, have a really good year and perhaps make all five dances. You could have serpent again. We had a brief glimpse of them earlier. Now, Pat, I like these. I must confess, I really like these. Yes, they, ha they have a, a gentle quality, but there is still so much expression within their performance. Casual is not a good word because they have worked hard to achieve this fluidity. Yeah, I think possibly they, 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 they're so involved in what they're doing. I think even the hairstyle is designed to give what you just described, that almost casual or semi-casual look coupled with the incredible precision and control that they have over their bodies to move them rhythmically and sensitively and, and produce magnificent dancing. And we have Brian Watson and Karen Hardy. To me, a little disappointing with the charisma towards each other. Yes. They haven't quite got it together today. Going back to the UK Championships earlier in the year, there was the bottom end of the final, there was uh, there was Brian and there was there was Alan and there was Jukar and, and a sort of fourth, fifth and sixth and many people in the hall that night thought they could have been first, second, third. And a few expressions that other people don't. They don't always run around the floor. They, they seem to really have got it sorted out. But having said that, it's just uh, throughout the whole competition tonight, Sammy almost seems to have hidden in the middle of the floor in my view. He's, um, he's not really been the normal aggressive, I'm the champion, Sammy Stockford performance. Indeed, reading through my notebook from the early rounds, I've got a uh, note, uh, is this the end? The quality in their dancing is absolutely fabulous. And this dance, particularly, Bell, is absolutely super. One of the, the best passadoba I think I've ever seen them dance throughout their whole career. It's not only the shaping that they create, but it's the musical interpretation yes. that they have. Each little beat is being marked. It doesn't run around the floor all the time. You can, you can see a story to the dance and the uh, togetherness with, with the dancers, the matador and his cape. Beautiful matching. I like the idea of the part on his sleeve as well that's making more shaped. Mm. We have Yucca and Sarah again. Even in this dance, I really enjoy 
enjoy the quality that they produce. right to the end of the music and here we have a quality of bringing up ready the calmness presentation preparing for the next dance seeing, uh, we should be seeing um, Corky and Shirley in this dance when she's so she has borrowed a cufflink and doing his sleeve up for him it was so difficult when you're hassled. <laughs> you try to do it quickly and it's not so easy. Okay, let's go. So that's over, now we can get on with the dance, what we're here to do. Now, Corky, this has got to be, it's his most successful dance, perhaps, or probably his favourite dance, probably that American in him. In him. <laughs> See the speed and the precision that they do. I mean, that is a difficult step, but then, oh dear, what's happening now? Oh, he's with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 <laughs> not look at this. <laughs> you see, that's it, Pat. When you're judging, it's when you're looking at them. Uh, when I'm sitting there watching, I can look at who I want to for as long as I want to, and I try to keep my eyes everywhere. When you're judging, you look from one to the other, isn't it? It's judging. It. it certainly is completely different from sitting, watching, competition, judging. It, it's so great judging because you see everybody dance and enjoy the whole competition from everybody because you have to divert your attention all over the floor. Sometimes you miss the exceptional things that happen, but on the whole, you just get the overall performance from everyone. It's so more balanced at speed. Keep me on balance all the time, high speed. Richard and Els, vitality abundance. Let me have I mean, they, they were seventh in the Giant last year. Um, I should say he and she, of course, and will tell me. Um, but here they are, I mean, the lowest they could be is sixth in the Giant this year. So they'll be on the place. which very much deserved. Hard competition. Long, hard, and a very good competition, but... Uh... Hugs, kisses, and hand in hand, and... Alan and Rebecca come back on, so I think all the eight finest couples who've appeared in one or more dances have come onto the floor to acknowledge the applause. Big long line there. This, I, I always marvel at this magnificent venue, Pat. I come down the stairs and tingle even when the ballroom's empty. It's just such a wonderful place. First in the cha cha cha. 150 Crockett Ballas. Well, Corky and Shirley have won the Cha 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 Pat. They were fourth in the dance last year. Well, obviously, completely overjoyed. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that must be uh, Manchester, Sammy and Barbara McCall. The champions have dropped the first down, second in the cha-cha-cha. Maybe an anonymous side. Finland, Luca Apalainen, 
Third, the Yucca. Fourth, number 36 for London, Brian Watson and Karen Hardy. Fifth, 100. So the drama will unfold as we go through the dance places and the individual dances before we can come to any positive conclusion or final outcome. Number 56, Alan Tornsberg and Vivica Toff from Denmark. And seventh, 178 from London, Paul Killick and Oksana Forova. And eighth, number 27, from Epsom, Richard Porter, and Elf I'll tell you what, Pat, there's some good news at the top. There's some good news coming up as well. There certainly are. And the whole of the semi-final was absolutely yeah. fabulous, and the quality that they're all producing is getting stronger and stronger each Summer year. The hands of Robin Gale could have been in. That's when it made even more exciting. Oh, the second dance win. <laughs> Maybe looking at a new British Second, professional champion. And, and we may be looking at an ex British professional champion, but. Yes, you think maybe. Well, the attention is certainly focused on the result of the, for the first two couples for uh, Cork and Shirley, Sammy and Barbara, but it doesn't really take it away from these excellent couples coming out for their prizes, but even they would agree, I think, the drama is for the first and second spot, because the next dance or so will reveal all. And six, Alan Tomsberg and Vivica Toft. Pat, it's the rumba. Now the rumba experts, we know who they are. And that Bill's making his way, doesn't he? Suspense is killing. To the rumba. First, Sammy Stockford and Barbara. Ah, oh, wonderful. Do you remember that year of his basic run, the pass? Oh, Certainly, the yes. fantastic night. I've just been given the information that Sammy and Barbara have decided, as from this evening, that they are retiring from professional competition dancing. Oh, oh, yeah, that's sad. It's a very sad night, oh. but they've made the decision. One of Super Sam has been prisoned because this man has fought back so many times when people have thought he'd written off and, and he's, he and his partners have always been incredible competitors. He's probably one of the best competitors of all time. And I've got a feeling about this couple, in particular this man, the influence he's going to have on Latin dancing is going to be so great over the next few years. He could do so much good training so many people. Second, next year should Ballas. be fantastic. Oh. Their next year should be fantastic. I think he's got so much still to give. But will he go out holding on to his title? Uh, and his title to go to this cup. But I'm going to make that prediction. Sammy Stockford and Barbara McCall are going to be an even greater force in the next few years than they have been during their competitive career. Fifth, Brian Watson and Karen Hardy. So, Tracy, 
Easton was very pleased with that fourth, two fouls in a four so far. And the Paso Doble. Paso Doble. Corky and Shirley Barrow. Oh, they've won the title. So they will take the trophy home. Oh! Benny <laughs> won't even feel that. <laughs> well, one can't help but be pleased for them, but one can't help but be pleased for them. And particularly that man, I do admire him so much. I have not always liked his dancing, but I admire him the work he's put in to get so good so quickly. Four, Jason Gilkison and so even if Sammy and Barbara win the jive, the title's gone, Pat. Yes, that's as it is. And six, Alan Tonsberg and Vivi Kattoft. And the jive. Cocky and Shirley Oh, four dances they've got. New title holders. Second, Sammy Stockford and Barbara McCall. Sammy and Barbara were the champions in 1989, 1991, 1992 and 1994. Third, Brian Watson, uh, Sammy and was the champion of the previous partner in 1983, so he's had a long and very illustrious oh, career. I should miss him, I'm sure everyone will be missing him. I'm sure they will be missed greatly. Fifth, Yuka Hapalainen and Sepka Well, I said I should miss him, I shan't miss her because I should get my cut. I used to get a cut of her. She's lovely. And six, They're all lovely. Porter, it's good for my ego, Pat, to pick up and have a cut of it. It makes me feel a young man again. So Jason, very good for Gilkison. Two fives and three fours. So we know that Cork and Shirley are first, Sammy and Barbara second, so Yukur and Spur are third. You don't have to be a mathematician. Brian and Karen are fourth. The winner yeah, it's four, four, five, of the five, three. 1995 Jason and Petter, British fifth. professional Latin American champion, 150, Conkey and Shirley Bowers. Bet they remember that number for a while, <laughs> 150. Well, I think Pat, that Shirley has wanted this since 1983. She waited for this moment. Uh, love changed her life all those years ago, uh, but now the ultimate prize. To son Marky. And for Corky, proof of his own ability, a reward for the effort he's put in and the years of work to improve faster than other people. So what a wonderful moment for him. It was back in 1983. Sammy and Shirley Stockton took that trophy. Sammy has held it four times since then, and now Shirley has it back again. Shirley Ballas. British Open Professional Latin American Champions for 1995. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Obviously, the first thing, Shirley, is to you. 12 years ago tonight, you held this trophy. It's been a long time coming back to you. I'll take it you're quite pleased. I'm very, yes, thrilled. Corky, dancing with an ex British champion and now dancing with a British champion again. It's been a long haul for you, hasn't it? Yes, sir. It's been a lot of hard work, and thanks to my beautiful wife and her patience, and uh, you know, working hard with me, uh, I was able to at least come close to her level, and uh, for that, I'm thankful. Who is this little chap down here? This is Corky Jr. Uh, Mark A. Ballas Jr. Say hi, Marky. Hi. 
Now, obviously it was a tough competition for you, and yes, particularly with the circumstances, because as you know, you took the trophy and the chairmanship from your previous partner. Was, did that make it more difficult, more pleasurable, or? And we just, uh, we worked so hard for a full year, and we just wanted to do the best that we could do, and, and, and have a chance just like everybody else, so. But I think it was more difficult because we are, we're good friends. And uh, even though we defeated him this evening, I was my feelings were hurt at the same time. I was sorry for them. That's very nice, very nice of you to say so. Shirley, when I spoke to you right at the start of the evening, right before that first round, and wished you luck, you said something to me. What was it you said, Shirley? I said I wasn't leaving today without the trophy. And your dreams come true? Absolutely. A thousand congratulations. Well done. Thank congratulations. you so much. Bye. Thank you, Thank you sir. Bye.